I'm Timmy, and today, I'm getting neutered. My wife Julie and I got married in 2011, and like 15% of couples in America, we've never wanted kids. Since day one, we both agreed that having children would be the worst possible thing to happen to us. What's the matter? I forgot to take birth control. Not having kids has always been part of our plan. So we use birth control, but it hasn't been easy. I say we tried, but really it's always been you are doing all this stuff. And I reacted horribly to birth control. Not like an uncommon opinion, but we didn't, we didn't like using condoms. My friend recommended that I do the copper IUD, which is non-hormonal, but that ended up being, I think, the worst year of my life. I bled nonstop, had horrific cramps, and then went into pretty severe anemia. I want to take this thing out of my body. <laughs> Why can't a guy take care of the responsibility of birth control in the relationship? I mean, beyond condoms. You know, I'm just saying, like, there's got to be something out there for dudes. You know, I'm going to figure out what it is. I would love that. You know, as they say in the infomercials, there's got to be a better way. I'll be honest, I don't know a lot about male birth control. So I booked an appointment with my doctor. I mean, it's 2016. There's got to be a cool new way for a dude to cork his cock. You know, I just want to have sex without consequences with my wife. I gotcha. Sex without consequences is probably not realistic, because <laughs> all sex has consequences. But I, I think I know what you mean. A vasectomy is your only permanent option in 2016. So are there any other options at all, like anything else? I cannot recommend to a patient a non-FDA approved pharmacologic therapy. Do people get vasectomies and then freeze their sperm? If you are so uncertain that you're gonna freeze your sperm, then I don't think you're really ready for this thing. You're doing something that takes a short amount of time that is maximally destructive in terms of future fertility, and you could elect a more temporary birth control until you are absolutely sure. The way that we do it is we bring out the vas deferens. The vas deferens is the cord that brings sperm from the testicle to the outside world. It feels like a piece of uncooked or al dente spaghetti in your sack. We cut out about a one centimeter segment of the tube. We cauterize the ends. And then on top of all that, we tie off each end. Whoa, Dr. Lemur made it sound so casual, but cutting my balls open? Ugh, da fook? And because he couldn't tell me about any other options, I needed a second opinion. I invited my friends over to see what methods they use. So I'm thinking about getting, or I'm weighing the options about getting a vasectomy. And you're like just a million percent sure no kids? Yeah, absolutely. Is it because you hate kids or you just don't want them in your life? <laughs> well, I'm, I don't hate other people's children. I just don't want to have kids. Okay. I'm asking mm -hmm. in your own Oh, hands. if it was my responsibility. Yeah. What would you do? Just use condoms, probably. You can get, like, pretty thin ones. I was going to say blowjobs. <laughs> there should be a male birth control pill, right? I'd probably try it. What do you guys use for birth control now? Do you guys not use birth control? <laughs> no, use birth control. I, I just feel uncomfortable talking about it <laughs> yeah, specifically yeah. on this camera. about your balls, not <laughs> yes. our balls. Well, they weren't much help. I guess I needed to find guys outside of my social network who use alternate birth control methods. But where do you find people willing to talk about their sex lives with a complete stranger? Craigslist, of course. Don't respond if you think I am trying to fuck you. And quickly, the replies started pouring in. Oh, I love the internet. I arranged to meet with the four responders who were the least creepy to hear their advice on how not to reproduce. What do you guys think I should do? Anal. All anal. Gamble a little bit. Have fun with it. It's good to, you know, to live on the edge like that sometimes, you know? Uh, Alan, so you, you've been married a couple times, you Yes, said. twice. When you were married, what was the birth control situation those times? We just kind of abstained from going there. That's the outer course. Uh, so we did a lot of 69. And never once? No. Never once. The outer course is like the fucking side dish without the entree. Uh, I don't know. Not if you do it correctly, though. We had some very intense sessions. 15 minutes, half hour, an hour, two hours sometimes. Just haven't used a condom, I bet you, in 20 years. Kills the spontaneity or something. I don't know if that's what you want to call it. Kills the boner is what it kills. That, that, yeah, I mean, you, you, you said that a little better than I did. <laughs> <laughs> so outer course, and what about you, Mondo? What? Kind of just praying. 
A lot of prayer. You know, yeah. <laughs> hoping for the best. Did you ever had pregnancy scares by doing it? Oh yeah, of course. I, 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 of course, yeah. I made the same mistake over and over. A different woman, so same, even the same woman. Did you change your ways to like not repeat the same mistakes? No, I'm I'm, I'm a bad learner. Okay, maybe Craigslist wasn't the best place to go looking for birth control advice. Who knew? So it was up to me to do the homework. But even then, the options were very limited. There are a lot of stories about on-off switches for your balls and weird herbal supplements that reduce fertility, even a male birth control pill. But none of it's been proven. I gathered info on all the most viable options and reported back to the person this would affect the most. All right, honey, so I did some research. 19% of people get pregnant within one year of withdrawal. So that's the pull-out method. Uh, the rhythm method is 80% effective. My dad swears by that one. Yeah, and he has four children, so. Mm -hmm. and, then a, and then condoms, of course, are 98% effective. I hate them. Yeah, you hate them. I hate them. Vasectomy is our only option here. Because... Can we first call your parents, or...? Oh. I just feel like it's like a permanent thing, but... But do you want to actually... Should we have an announcement, or...? <laughs> Like on Facebook? <laughs> I don't know. When I think of our future, I don't ever see kids in it. Yeah, me either. I see five dogs. I would love to have an ugly dog, but not want to have an ugly kid. <laughs> Give a second. <laughs> For sure. I was scared, but I knew that this was a necessary decision. I needed to turn off the hose, to snip the spaghetti, to remove my vast deference. I was getting a vasectomy. Please come back and throw it all. Part of the procedure that you'll feel, this is a little spit with the needle because there's no cocaine. Yeah, that. I'm going to use the basket. No, but I hear, I hear it's crazy. It's crazy, I mean, it's absolutely crazy. Put some ice on and off of it, that will reduce the swelling, and wear some underwear that have some support to them so that your bones aren't just going to breathe. Great. We're all set. I did it. It was fairly easy. The, the, the most pain was because I have a hairy ball sack. So and every now and then he'd have to like pluck a hair. And that, that actually hurt the most. <laughs> but it is like I can feel they are swollen. Makes you look like a big old dick, you know? I could not believe how quick and painless the procedure was. But about 40 minutes later, the drugs wore off. It feels like a combination of like ha being punched in the balls and having shit in the face. <laughs> I feel a little bit like Tim Roth and Reservoir Dogs, right? <laughs> yeah, I'm a rat! I'm a rat, it doesn't want to have kids. Ugh. No, but really, it does. That, that actually hurts doing that impression. <laughs> hey! I did it. <gasps> oh my god. I got the procedure. Babe, are you in pain? Yeah, a little bit, but it's. Uh, Why are you walking like that? Because <laughs> I just had surgery on my, my balls. Oh my god. Oh. But hey, we're not going to have kids. <laughs> no, please, stop. <laughs> please stop. I just had surgery. In the end, I'm very happy I got a vasectomy. It's the best decision for my marriage and the life we want to live together. But it is weird to me that the other options don't really exist. And how clueless most guys are about male birth control. We're living in a time where men and women should be able to carry the responsibility of birth control together. So get on it, pharmacists and politicians. And yeah, all you dudes. Think about what your partner has to go through to keep from getting preggers. You don't have to worry about birth control anymore. Mm, thank you. You're welcome. Oh, mm -hmm.